in triangle ABC, X is the midpoint of AC, and Y is the midpoint of BC. If R is the midpoint of segment XC, and S is the midpoint of line segment YC, what is the area of triangular region RCS? So this tiny little triangle here. And notice that this triangle is similar to the large triangle. Each length has been shrunk down to a, by a factor of four because XC is half of AC and RC is half of that. So RC is a quarter of AC. So we shrunk it down by a factor of four. So it means that the area of RSC since each length is reduced by a factor of four, then base times height. Base would be reduced by a factor of four. Height would be reduced by a factor of four. So it would be reduced by a total of one sixteenth the area of the whole triangle. Now, if we could figure out the area of the whole triangle, we'd be able to figure out the area of the little triangle. Well, statement number one tells us very interestingly that the area of triangle ABX is 32. Well, ABX is this area here. That's half the big triangle. In fact, we know that it has to have exactly half the area because that is the same height and exactly half the base. So if the area of ABX is 32, the area of ABC is twice that, 64. From there, we can figure out the area of RCS. So statement number one, is perfectly sufficient. Now forget statement number one. Statement number two tells us that the length of one of the altitudes of triangle ABC is eight. So the altitude, which often represents the height in one half base times height, the altitude is H. But unfortunately, we have the altitude, but we don't know the base to which the altitude is drawn. And because we don't know the base, we have no way to figure out the area of the triangle, which is one half base times height. So this statement by itself is not enough to figure out any area. This statement by itself is insufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is insufficient. Answer choice A.